You could solve this question with guess and check if you really wanted to, but I, I think Desmos makes this much easier to do as like an algebra question because we can just let Desmos solve the equations for us. This is a system of equations, but just with a story on top. So um, what I would do here is on my scratch paper, I would still write out the equations that I think. I'm not gonna put them directly from the question into Desmos because I'm nervous I'm gonna enter it wrong. And so this kind of forces me to just slow it down a little bit. I think it's worth the time. So uh, I have two equations here. So the first customer paid $12.45 for one loaf of bread and two dozen eggs. So first of all, let's be really clear that the bread is my X and the eggs is my Y. Okay, so $12.45, $12.45 for one loaf of bread, so one X and two eggs. I know I don't need the one, but I'm writing it because why not, right? It's just like have a clear translation from the story to the equation. Then we have this other equation here, 1942. So let's do that. 1942 is for four loaves of bread and one dozen eggs. Now I got my equations. There are ways to solve these algebraically, but again, just like why? Why bother? Why open the door to any sort of error? So 1245 is equal to, uh, and this time I'm gonna leave out the one, x plus two y and enter and 1942. One thing about this stupid Desmos on the iPad is it makes me wait a second before I can hit another button. And so I have to like go slow. And what do you know? There it is. There's my point of intersection. And 377, 434. So notice whether you do this algebraically or not, you're gonna have the same problem is they're going to give you in the answer choices both the x and the y coordinates, hoping that you just picked the wrong one. But what did they want, right? They wanted the cost of eggs. So we said eggs were y. So that's 434, right? So 377, that's the trap because that's the, that's the, the bread, right? So, uh, you know, that is going to happen on your SAT. That is the a classic SAT trap. Hopefully you never fall for it, but you should be aware that it exists. So that way you just do that little double take and make sure that you're giving them the right variable. This goes for any situation where we have a system of equations, but it's especially important in a story because the X and the Y are all about us, right? We could have flipped them and we still would get the same answer, but we gotta be really clear that X is one thing, Y is another. It's a good example of where maybe on your scratch paper, you would also write like a little bit of a let statement so that you knew. So just make sure you are playing a tight defense on a question like this. It is literally just plug it into Desmos. So hopefully that's enough to keep you getting this right.